Good morning children. Let us begin with standard 5 English grammar unit 12 gender. So there are four types of gender. Let us read them. The first, the name of all male persons or animals are said to be of the masculine gender. As for example, man, boy, uncle, son, brother, king, lion. So all the male, man, we say they are in the masculine gender. Second, the names of all female persons or animals are said to be of the feminine gender. For example, girl. In masculine, if it is a uh, boy, in feminine, we'll say girl. If man, woman. Uncle, aunt. Son, daughter. Brother, sister. King, queen. And lion, female will be lioness. So all female are in the feminine gender. Third, things without life cannot be either male or female. Hence, the names of such things are said to be of the neuter gender. So anything that is without life, we say they are in the neuter gender. For example, house, knife, tree, chair, table, desk and ball. The fourth one, nouns which may be used for both males and females are said to be of the common gender. The word child may uh, mean either a male child or a female child. It is a word common for both boys and girls. So we say that it is a common gender. So words like child, friend, cousin, person, pupils, teachers are said to be in the nouns in the common gender. So we have four types of gender. Masculine that is the male. Feminine that is the female. Neuter uh, for non-living things and common, a noun which is uh, common for both male and female. Now there are three ways in which a feminine noun can be formed from a masculine noun. So if any one of the noun is given, how we can form the another uh, gender? The first one, some feminines are formed by adding e double s to the masculine. So any masculine gender is given to us. So to make it into the feminine, we, we just need to add E double S after that word. For example, lion. So L-I-O-N. And after that N, if we add E double S, it will become the feminine and it will become lioness. Shepherd, if we add E double S, it will become shepherdess. Poet will become poetess. Priest will become priestess. Host will become hostess and author will become authoress. So it is very simple to make it from the masculine into feminine by adding E double S. But sometimes the form is slightly changed because before E S S. So what is the difference over here? If the masculine is uh, emperor, E M P E R O R. The feminine will become empress. We don't write R O R E double S. We remove that O and R and we add E double S after R. So the spelling becomes E M P R E double S. Empress. God will become goddess. The D doubles. Actor will become actress. The spelling A C T R E double S. Waiter becomes waitress, tiger, tigress, governor, governess. So here there is a little change before adding E double S. Now note uh, also how the following feminines are formed. Hero is a masculine. The spelling changes and it becomes heroine which is H-E-R-O-I-N-E. Lad, that is a small boy, we call the girl Lass. Bridegroom is a Dula and the bride is the Dulhan. And Sir is a Madam. So these are little changes that we need to keep in mind while changing it from the masculine into the feminine. Second, the feminine of a compound noun is formed by changing that part which shows the gender. So in masculine, the compound word is grandfather. 
so father shows that it is a masculine so we have to change that father into mother and the compound word will be in feminine grandmother milk man man is showing the gender so we need to change that man into woman and we write that compound word like milk woman or milk maid man servant will become maid servant landlord will become land lady he goat will become she goat peacock will become peahen so the word that is showing the gender will change the other compound word does not change now the third one many nouns have different words for the masculine and the feminine for example for masculine if it is a bull feminine will be cow son feminine is daughter horse feminine is mare king feminine queen husband feminine wife and cock feminine hen so some are um, feminines are made by uh, writing e double s some uh, in the compound words we change only the word which is the masculine into feminine and some the masculine and feminine both are different a few more examples of different masculine and feminine masculine gentleman feminine will be lady masculine uncle feminine will be aunt man woman bachelor maid or a spinster a nephew will become niece and monk will become nun so now let us do the first exercise where we need to write all the feminine of these given masculine genders so your first one is duke feminine will be duchess peacock will be pea hen washer man will be washer woman bull cow son daughter boy girl horse mare husband wife uncle aunt bride groom bride cock hen hero heroine nephew niece emperor empress shepherd shepherdess widower widow milk man milk woman or milk maid both are right bachelor spinster or maid monk nun waiter waitress see the spelling here it won't come t e r e d b l e s but it will be w a i t r e d b l e s same for emperor and empress and your last one is gentleman lady in your second exercise we need to write all the masculine gender of the given feminine so let us start your first one niece will be nephew hostess will be host madam masculine will be sir which will be wizard lass will be lad mare horse wife husband tigress tiger land lady will be land lord nun monk widow widower countess count mother father daughter son authoress author duchess duke mistress mister princess prince actress actor maid bachelor queen king so these all are masculine genders so note when a noun changes from masculine to feminine or feminine to masculine the pronouns in the sentences also change so for example if the masculine sentence is given the king went into the hall he ate his breakfast so how do we make this sentence into feminine king will become queen the queen went into the hall 
now we've written the feminine queen so she ate her breakfast this she and her are pronouns which will change according to the gender that we have changed uh, from masculine to feminine so queen we have written so she and her will change second his uncle has a car he goes to office in his car so this will change into her aunt has a car she goes to the office in her car so the pronouns also change the third one his brother is an actor he always plays the part of a hero in the film so his brother he and hero are all in the masculine gender that we need it to change into the feminine so your answer with next answer will be in the feminine her sister is an actress she always plays the part of a heroine in the film so we need to keep in mind that from whenever we change from the masculine into feminine or feminine into masculine we need to change the pronouns also in the sentence exercise 3 we need to rewrite the following sentences using the nouns and pronouns of the opposite gender so we need to change the gender if masculine is given we need to write feminine if feminine is given we write the masculine and when we change we keep in mind to change the pronouns also so let us start the first sentence a widower is one who has lost his wife so when we change it will become a widow is one who has lost her husband second the lion killed the daughter of a washer man so your answer will be the lioness killed the son of a washer woman third your aunt warned the maid servants your answer will be your uncle warned the man servants fourth his nephews and brothers came to see him so in uh, we change it and we write as her niece and sisters came to see her the fifth one the tiger sprang at the hunter but he killed him with his spear your answer will be the tigress sprang at the huntress but she killed her with her spear this her first her is used for the tiger and the second her is used for the huntress the sixth one the mother had a daughter she always helped her in her work so your answer will be the father had a son he always helped him in his work seventh here is the man who saved the life of your husband you must thank him your answer will be here is the woman who saved the life of your wife you must thank her eighth the bridegroom was an old man riding on a white horse your answer will be the bride was an old woman riding on a white mare ninth the king gave the shepherd a prize because he had killed the lion your answer will be the queen gave the shepherdess a prize because she had killed the lioness tenth one lalit is a good actor he always plays the part of a hero so when we change it into the feminine the name lalit will change into lalita is a good actress she always plays the part of a heroine there are certain names of the boys that can be changed into a girl like uh, pravin can be changed into pravina how lalit changed into uh, lalita dhruv can change into dhruvi or dhruva so we can change the name of the boy into a girl so dear children i hope you have understood this 12th lesson of gender so your homework is that you need to write the four definitions of the genders that is masculine feminine common and neuter first in your english grammar notebook 
and then complete these three exercises very neatly in your grammar notebooks. So thank you and have a very nice day.